have uh, two breeding pairs of Guam Kingfishers, the Sea Heck, um, also known as the Sea Heck. Um, they, uh, we were chosen because of our past success with this, this species. We were chosen and we got everything set up. We started in March and here uh, from the Cincinnati Zoo, from our two pairs, um, we produced uh, five chicks um, that went to the Sedgwick County Zoo to the uh, biosecurity unit. Three of those chicks now are moving to Palmyra for the translocation project. So we're super excited about that. Those, those uh, youngsters will eventually hopefully be a part of repopulating uh, the sea heck in the world, which is just such, a, such an honor and a privilege to have been a part of. Um, to be a part of. We plan to continue as long as we need to. Um, it was also such a cool thing. Those three chicks were the product of such a team effort with our department here at the zoo. We provided three of the nine, yes, and we're, we're pretty proud of that. It was a huge team effort. It was a lot of time, just observations from, the, from our parents um, and kind of keeping track of what they were up to and that kind of thing. Working with incubators, working with babies. When they hatch, um, we raised two of the babies here and then transferred, transferred them to the Sedgwick County Zoo to their biosecurity unit. Mm -hmm. Those babies, when they hatch, start out at six feeds a day. So that's lots of uh, food prep, lots of just kind of keeping, making sure our spaces are, are up to snuff as far as the babies are concerned, keeping everybody warm, keeping everybody comfortable, and maintaining a lot of uh, just kind of contact with the babies and making sure um, that they're growing and developing and processing their food and all that good stuff. Um, so lots of, lots of time and effort into the babies themselves, um, but we want to make sure that they're not looking to us for everything that they need. We want to make sure that they're kind of learning to do all these things on their own, obviously because they will be living in a rainforest. They will, they will be expected to do all these things on their own. So we want to make sure that they're not depending on us for anything. So that, that socialization is absolutely night and day as opposed to a lot of the other babies that we've raised here.